I must say it's been exciting to see the growth and the evolution of the Algeria Digital Program and this uh, reviewed and enhanced curriculum uh, that we're here with our lead trainers as well as our regional coordinators is proof of concept that the program is working and that as we've seen the scale across many different delivery areas and learned from that process that we've gone back to the market, done market studies and helped understand why we needed to revamp and overhaul the Algeria curriculum in line with the government's objective of making Kenya uh, one of the top freelancing destinations around the world to raise the profile of uh, online work uh, as well as to create a culture fostered on mentorship and collaborative learning as a way for young people to be able to grow their skills and to develop through the work that we do at Immobilis as an implementing partner for the Algeria Digital Program. The uh, Algeria Digital Program is a government initiative that is aimed at empowering our Kenyan youth to be able to work you know, online or what we call the gig economy by acquiring digital skills. Our current curriculum has five modules. These are digital marketing, data entry, transcription, virtual assistants, and content writing. These are modules that were developed uh, two or three years ago that were supposed to address the needs that were there at that time. So why did we need to change the curriculum? A few things were changing. Many parts were moving. If I go to Priorities today, Safaricom, what do they want from young people? What uh, is it that we can train the young people so that now the Safaricom can say, yes, we need those people? So we are in Diane because we have had a journey for the past one year, having realized the kind of gaps that were there in the former curriculum that we were implementing. And through what we call a training need assessment and also job market survey, we identified some gaps in terms of the uh, skills that are needed in the market. And therefore, today we are in Diani to adopt the new curriculum that has been reviewed and also expanded in terms of the number of modules that at least once we move from here, our trainers will have the new look, we have the new knowledge and the competence to implement the new curriculum that has been improved and has also been expanded in terms of the number of modules. Revist Africa is one of the organizations within the region that uh, is an expert in research, training and curriculum development. And what do we do? We are a company that uh, certainly has a pool of uh, consultants and so what happens is that we plan jobs according to the expertise required. For this project we successful for a curriculum to make sense we're going to spend more time talking to the demand side the industry so to speak so that we could understand where the gaps were and where they felt that uh, there were skills that could uh, be put into a jira that could uh, generally uh, motivate them to seek uh, for services from a jira so Spent time talking to BPOs, across NGOs, across institutions, spoke to the supply side, you know, talking to immobilists, the trainers, both experienced and uh, new trainers, and also the trainees themselves, just to try and understand where the gaps were. From experience, and um, given that from the Kenya Private Sector Alliance, ours is to link young people to jobs, and either both in the private sector or in the public sector, we realize that there are some skills that are highly paying that would be of importance to the young people in supporting their economic well-being. There are other advanced skills that not only are impacting on business and government directly in a big way, but also attracts more pay for digital workers, meaning if we want to make the digital space more impactful, not only to the economy but to the young people, then we need to offer fairly advanced skills in the digital space, which would then mean that the curriculum has to be somehow realigned to fit into that space. The new curriculum will be able to reach out to more youth and be able to give more benefits. Reason being, from the previous experience of the former curriculum, we noted that there was a level of inclusivity that we had not captured. For example, we had not addressed our youths who didn't have the basic computer skills. We had not addressed the people with living with disabilities. But the new curriculums, we have developed curriculum that are able to lift a trainee right from having zero digital skills to being an advanced skill worker. We have what we are calling the assist technology module that is able to include people living with disabilities. 
What's also great about this uh, overhauled and revamped Ajira Digital Curriculum is the fact that we've then taken something that was uh, added uh, through the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy um, and then embedded it and had a chance to learn and engage with it in a way that has informed the movement from just five modules initially in the Ajira uh, Digital Curriculum and Content um, three and a half years ago to now 27 modules that we've created. So that the ultimate goal of making Kenya a top freelancing hub around the world and supporting our youth to earn a dignified income. Uh, with 5.3 million young people across the country are unemployed or underemployed. So as you can see, the need is massive. So looking at this holistically from what are foundation skills, um, what are advanced skills, what are cross-cutting skills that youth need to be able to have uh, in order to either specialize or pick areas of uh, online work and digital enabled work that will pay them and pay them more. So we see this curriculum as very holistic, very comprehensive. We've equipped our trainers to understand it through this training of trainers. We've gone through a year and a half process that allowed the Levy East Africa team as a competitively selected consultants to really understand this space and understand what private sector was asking for and where the skills mismatch and the gap was. When we talked about the cross-cutting modules, it means that anybody can take any of those modules, depend, no matter the career pathway they are pursuing. So if you look at the new modules, you will find there are 11 cross-cutting modules, generally to prepare our, our trainees or our beneficiaries for Jira to ensure that they, they can handle the customer, they can uh, sell the product. Uh, when it comes to other people who felt marginalized, like the people with disability, of our interview was that uh, we can still be able to accommodate them. So we have come up with a module that looks at assistive technology for people with disabilities and they're able to plug in there and uh, proceed to make revenues and earn a living, just like any other. Now this curriculum, the way I look at it, with a module around how to set up personal businesses, how to advance your entrepreneurship skills, how to secure yourself from being attacked or from breaching the Data Protection Act and all that other laws around online and digital space. This curriculum gives young people another alternative beyond employment, that they can also be job creators. So I would say that this current uh, curriculum is expansive and it addresses uh, some of the requests and demands that we have seen while implementing the current curriculum. And it covers a wide variety of skills which have been a gap in our youth when it comes to accessing digital economy. According to research, it indicates that most women are the providers of their household in terms of caregiving and also other economically. This has really pushed us as a program to really encourage women and mainly give them 70% participation into the Ajira Digital Program. So the new Ajira curriculum brings a new horizon where we believe it has a space for more Kenyans. I see opportunities for all our other technical professionals, you know, like our plumbers, the hair, hair saloonists. This is an enriched curriculum. We definitely see a big future and we see more money in the pockets of youth. Looking at the structure of government at the moment, my prayer to them would be to embrace a JIRA project, entrench it and anchor it in some department within government so that it becomes a long-term project that is aimed at not only supporting in digitizing government but also helping to create work across around young people, keep young people more engaged, give them a livelihood that is of meaning and of course allow them to express themselves to deliver their services that they can based on their skills from wherever they are. The clarion call to young people across this country is that there is incredible hope, there is incredible opportunity in the digital economy space. We're so excited and proud of this curriculum that has been developed with the 27 modules through training needs analysis and over a year and a half journey that made sure that this curriculum is fit for purpose and is the right curriculum for 
a market and a space that has changed and evolved dramatically. I'd like to encourage the young women to take advantage of their Jira Digital program opportunity to be empowered and start earning through digital and digitally enabled jobs. I would encourage our youth to join and register and train this program because number one is free. You can learn virtually, you can learn physically, you can do the blend and learning. It is all over. When in whatever region of the country you are in, the opportunity is available.